Hi, it's Dwyer. Gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com, on Roku, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Well, the numbers are in the TV numbers for the college football semifinal games. And they are far beyond what anyone envisioned. Far beyond. Understand ratings for the Rose Bowl are up more than 30%. Ratings for the Sugar Bowl are up over 120%. This is the first year of this. We haven't even gotten to the final game. Understand the money that ESPN paid to broadcast these events. Now is already a coup for ESPN. Keep in mind, ESPN is locked into paying less than half a billion dollars, right, to have these games over something like the next 12 years. Think about it. That's a monumental coup. The NCAA must realize right now that if the bidding were held today, they would get a lot more money than this. Right? Understand, this football playoff, the college football playoff, now is the dominant property owned by ESPN. Right? Super Bowls tend to be on broadcast networks. Here you have a cable network that has the rights to one of the biggest sporting events in this country for more than the next decade. Let me tell you what I think is going to happen. I believe the ratings for the championship game are going to exceed even the ratings for the semifinals. I believe the month of January is going to have its own Super Bowl equivalent. Right? College football has never been this big. And it's going to get bigger and bigger. Right, Super Bowl One really was an afterthought. By the time you get to Super Bowl Three and Super Bowl Four, it was an iconic sporting event. I encourage everyone to look at the numbers. Whatever you think of college football right now, just understand that far more money and much higher ratings is going to pour into the sport. An argument can be made that Nick Saban is underpaid at this point, right? It's a foregone conclusion that the competition for superstar high school athletes is going to get so out of control that we're going to need much more of a free market to allocate those players, right? Players are going to get paid. You're going to know their names, a lot more than you do right now given the dangers inherent in the sport right superstars coming down with concussion issues right junior sale Tony Dorsett don't be surprised if these football players aren't able to cash in a lot earlier don't be surprised if you have some big names in college following the Charlie Ward Example, Ward won the Heisman, then didn't play in the pros, right? You might recall Bo Jackson won the Heisman, went to baseball first, right? A lot of these guys are going to be able to monetize, whether they're paid by the NCA or not. They're going to be able to monetize the higher profiles that they get in these games, right? You're going to have... The college football championship be much bigger than it's ever been. It's going to start approaching the Super Bowl in terms of its ratings and its impact. These players are going to have even more scrutiny than they have right now. The NCAA might, in fact, want to add some extra time between the semis and between their championship game. Let me just say, too, 
to think that the NFL allowed college football to grab New Year's Day and run with it like college football has is simply astounding. Right? Pretty soon you're going to have a situation where these semis are going to become big time events, kind of like the Final Four in college basketball, only with much higher ratings and much greater money. Ultimately, college football is necessarily, in my opinion, going to have to end up on broadcast television. Right? The cable outfit ESPN did a masterful job locking this up. As much money as the NCAA is making, I believe there are many executives in ivory towers today who understand they dropped the ball on this one. The long-term deal gave them financial security. But ESPN is already paying less than market prices for these blockbuster events. Take a look at the ratings. They're an eye-opener. Right? College football, quite frankly, is now the second most popular sport in the United States ahead of pro basketball and ahead of Major League Baseball. Just compare and contrast the ratings right, for the finale that college football is going to deliver this year. It's going to be the first year following this BCS Bowl playoff. Just compare and contrast those ratings to the ratings from the NBA Championship Series and the ratings from Major League Baseball's World Series. I don't think they're going to be comparable. Keep in mind, the semifinals just delivered in the first year the highest ratings on cable television ever. This is a new day in American sports. You need to keep an eye on it. Read up on the ratings. Let's all brace ourselves for the ratings from the Ohio State, Oregon game. And keep in mind, many people feel Ohio State shouldn't even have been invited into the Final Four. Right? Many people believe it should have been TCU or other teams. Right? Could you imagine what would happen if, let's say, you have a big-time number one and a big-time number two that go unbeaten during the season and then they face off in the national championship at the end of this football playoff? Just prepare to be shocked. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.